Oh, here we go. Pretty good. Oh, I need some more practice. Hi friends, it's our last day of Read Across America Week, and we have a great author that we're gonna talk about today. Um, and if you've noticed, I'm kind of dressed in a sports uniform, playing some basketball. Woo! But our author today is going to be Mo Willems. Oh my goodness, everybody loves Piggy and Gerald. Well, Mo Willems has done a great job of creating some wonderful characters and some really fun, simple stories. So we're gonna read this one in just a minute, but let me show you some of his other characters that he has. You all know Pigeon. This is one of his stories, Pigeon Needs to Take a Bath. Here's some more Piggy and Gerald books. Elephants Cannot Dance. We are in a book. What do you notice right there? Now, this is a different kind of award. This is called the Theodore Seuss Geisel Honor Book. Hey, we've already talked about Theodore Geisel. Remember, that's Dr. Seuss. So that's another kind of award, and this got that award. My friend is sad. Can I play too? There's a bird on your head. Ding, ding, ding. This one won an award. I love my new toy. Here's another little series of, of, of books with this character, character, excuse me, called the Nuffle Bunny. So this one's called Nuffle Bunny 2. Here's the first one called Nuffle Bunny. And, oh, here's one more. Nuffle Bunny Free. Now there are other books. I just don't have them all, but these are the ones that we have here at school. But the one I wanna talk and read about today is called Watch Me Throw the Ball. I'm gonna put my basketball down and here we go. Piggy and Gerald, okay. We've been talking about this all week. Let's see if you know what this part of the book is called. What is it? The front cover, good job. So if this is the front cover, this is the back cover, great job. Anybody remember what this is called? Good, the spine. Okay, and then when you open it up, this is where you find your story. Good job. Let's find the title page. Here it is, right here. Here's the title, Watch Me Throw the Ball. You got Piggy and Gerald, and then it tells you who wrote the book, which is the author, Mo Willems. And you know what? His name is the only one on there, so that means he wrote the book and he made the pictures. So he's an author and an illustrator. All right, here we go. La la la. Boom, boom. A ball. You found my ball. This is your ball? Yes, I threw it from way over there. You threw this ball from way over there? I am very good at throwing. Wow. May I throw your ball? You want to throw my ball? Yes. Do you know the secret to throwing? Sure, have fun. Mm. Fun? Throwing this ball is not easy. Mm. It takes skill, it takes practice. It takes skill and practice. I worked very hard to learn how to throw this ball. Very hard. I got it. May I try now? Hmm. Yes. Maybe one day you can throw like me, but stand back. The pig is throwing. Well, 
how about that? I threw the ball so far, you cannot even see it. Call me Super Pig. With my arm of power. Ha! Um, Piggy? Need to throw a ball? Here's the pig to call. Um, Piggy? You mean Super Pig, right? Ugh. Super pig, I can see your ball back here. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Do you know what this means? Hmm. Yes. I threw the ball all the way around the world. The pig does it again. Super pig is really neat. Super pig cannot be beat. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Piggy, you did not throw the ball around the world. The ball flew behind you and fell here. And that is not very far. Not very far at all. You are right, Gerald. I did not really throw the ball very far. But I had fun. <laughs> hmm? La la la. La 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 la. Oh my goodness, Piggy and Gerald, they are so funny. I love these books, I love reading these books, but the characters are drawn in such a way that you can see so much emotion in just their little face and how their body is. It's so much fun. So check out some more of Mo Willems books if you get a chance, I think you'll enjoy them. But thanks so much for reading and being excited about books. Reading is something you can do for the rest of your life. And there's so many good books out there to read and explore and enjoy. Maybe you, you will be an author or an illustrator one day. Okay? And you can share wonderful things with the people around you. Have a great day. Remember to pick up a book and read. And if you can't read yet, that's okay. Get mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa or a big brother or sister, get somebody to read a book to you because they're so much fun. Thanks so much. Have a great day. <laughs> day five and I still can't get this thing to turn off. Mm.